Hi guys, and welcome to A Coffee Chat. I'm Dr. Boomer Brown. Well, we've been talking about trust, and we're gonna to continue to talk about that today. We know that it is an essential element in human beings that we trust, that we need trust. We have the opportunity to give it, or to withhold it, or to rebuild it. And uh, there's a lot of factors that go into trust. But we've been talking about a few, and I've gotten to the place where I want to talk to you about five essentials of trust. Last time, I talked to you a little bit about understanding. If you're going to trust someone, you and the other person have to feel that we both understand each other, okay? And we are willing to listen and to take our filters down a notch or two and take in information, process it, communicate, and drive toward understanding. Well, that's one, to understand. But the second is equally as important. And that second essential in trust is motive. You know, you can trust someone when you feel that their motive is for you and not just for themselves. You know, this is a big thing today because all of us have intrinsic needs, desires, dreams, and there are certain things, whether they're external, internal, that motivate us. And so we always have to check our motives for the reasons why we do things. And in building trust with someone, you and the other person, me and the person I'm dealing with, we have to feel that the motive that that person has is pure. Now here's what I mean by that, because I, I think we can say that motive is somehow or another connected to moral code. So there are standards uh, that we hold. And there's this feeling of duty. Sometimes we're driven by duty or we're driven by moral code to uphold our motives and to make sure they're pure. Those are true and those are good. But there is this one motivator that goes beyond moral code and moral duty. And that's this. It's called the law of love. And the best way I can describe it is in the actual words that was used by Jesus. He said that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. And that's the perfect motive. Love. And you might hear that Tina Turner song in your mind, what's love got to do with it? Well, love has everything in the world to do with motive if I want to have a pure motive. Because love says I care more about you than I necessarily care about myself. Now, I don't self-abase, I don't put myself down, I don't hurt myself in the situation, but I love the other person as much as I love myself and I care about them and I want them to succeed and I want them to grow. And, and, and to do that, that's hard because we're humans. And sometimes we're selfish and we're prideful and we're needy and our motives get all jacked up. You know, but I encourage you today to think about this. If you really want to build trust in every relationship that you have, then I would invite you to consider bringing in the law of love to your life. Do I love that person as much as I love myself? Do I care about them? Let the law of love supersede the idea of just keeping a moral code or it's my duty to do the right thing here. I do this, I choose this because I care about you. That's one of the reasons we produce these videos every week. That's one of the reasons that doing good at work exists is because we're motivated to help you, to care about you. We do care. We try to provide resources and help that will meet you where you are in your life station so that we can walk together and help each other move toward our full potential. So I hope you'll take advantage of some of the offers that we make through Doing Good at Work, but you can rest assured of this. Our motive is to love you and to care about you. And we would never do anything to hurt you. We want to do things to help you because we consider you our neighbor and we're going to love our neighbor as ourselves. Thanks for letting me share this message with you today. And I hope you'll come back next week to another Coffee Chat. See you next time.